y'all welcome back to my channel my name is sunny brooks and for those that are new here welcome 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 and for those that are not welcome back while you're here don't forget to subscribe hit the like button the notification bell and leave a comment or a question below today we're talking about menstrual cycles i did a video um years ago about menstrual cycles so i want to give an updated video and then also i have recently done a yoni steaming video a yoni egg video so hopefully this helps someone <music> So I just want to talk about um, steps or ways to better your menstrual cycle. Um, I have been a person in the past that struggled with my menstrual cycle as far as, far as pain, as far as like bloating, as far as clotting, just a, a lot. Like I went through it all. I had irregular cycles and everything. And um, the first thing I want to talk about is one of the major things that helped me was Joni steaming. Like I'm... This is not something because I sell a product or I made the product like I'm like not lying. Like they wanted to like prescribe me. Um, it's a higher, it's not ibuprofen. They wanted to just prescribe me a painkiller because I, there was times I could not get out of bed. I would just be in bed for like three, four days. And honestly, um, I just did not want that life for me. And I didn't want to be taking pills in order for me to feel better. So I went down the holistic route and I found Yoni Steams and then I studied herbs and then I created my own um, Yoni Steam. But Yoni Steam it has by far changed my life and changed menstrual, uh, my menstrual cycle. So you could go to that video, the Yoni Steaming video, um, to learn more about Yoni Steaming. Um, the second thing that will help you improve your menstrual cycle is honestly avoiding dairy. It is a lot of great dairy alternatives. You have like almond milk, oat milk, soy milk, rice milk. I'm sure they got other milks too. Cashew milk, macadamia milk. They have a lot of different um, milk alternatives. That cheese, they have so many different cheese. Um, so Delicious cheese and Violife cheese are two of my favorite um, non-dairy cheese. Violife, V-I-O-L-I-F-E. Um, as far as like yogurt, same thing. I... I uh, love so delicious yogurt. Um, what else? Sour cream and cream cheese. You can use tofuti, but I prefer um, BioLife cream cheese. And as far as sour cream, I like um, Forger sour cream. Just avoiding dairy because dairy creates mucus, more mucus in our body. And the hormones and all of the uh, chemicals they feed the cows and we start consuming it in our body. It starts to produce hormones. I mean, it starts to produce Overgrowth in certain areas, the hormones in our body that we have consumed from the cow starts to produce overgrowth in some areas. That's why we'll have overgrowth um, in certain areas of our uterus lining and things like that. Um, and other things, right? But that is one of the factors. Also, the mucus, um, which makes it harder for our body to um, expose um, the things and get rid of the things that, you know, it needs to get rid of but avoiding dairy as much as possible before and during your menstrual cycle will help a lot um and you will see a big difference in your menstrual cycle but you'll also see a big difference in your skin too um the third thing you can do is avoid as much fried food and junk food so fried food that's just easy like french fries fried chicken fried this fried that fried anything that's deep fried and fried and laid to the side okay Listen, I like it. However, before your menstrual cycle and during your menstrual cycle, it can cause a lot of cramping and bloating. So you can avoid that. Junk food too. I know like I get snackish um, during my menstrual cycle, so I always have some sort of snacks, but not like no hot sausage, pickle egg, pig feet, um, like junk food. You know, I'm saying like you could get chips, but get the healthier version of chips. If you're going to get candy, get the healthier version of candy. Not the candy that's like high fructose corn syrup candy. Not drinking like Pepsis and, and Sprites and all of this stuff. Like try to avoid as much junk food and fried food as possible. You will see a difference in your menstrual cycle. Also increasing leafy greens. I cannot state that enough. Like the different um, vitamins and minerals that comes from leafy greens help our menstrual cycle flow and help um decrease the pain and bloating and things like that that we experience it also increase our mood um and increase different uh feel-good chemicals that's in our brain 
if you can't eat leafy greens, do that. And salads and then soups and things like that. And smoothies is a great way to get your leafy greens in. If not, worst comes to worst, you know you haven't been eating your leafy greens. Chlorophyll. That is my like leafy green hat. Chlorophyll is um, the, the ingredient that makes leafy greens that green. So you can drink chlorophyll water. Go to your local health food stores. Whole Foods have it. Chlorophyll, you take some drops and put it in your water and you're now getting some of those nutrients and vitamins that you will get from the leafy greens. Of course, it is not the exact same, but right, you can get some of them. Um, also, uh, to improve your menstrual cycle, you can also uh, use and take supplements before and during your cycle. Um, different supplements, I'm not saying like Midol and Tylenol, like I'm not saying that. I'm talking about supplements like herbs. So Dong Kue is a great supplement to take, D-O-N-G-Q-U-A-I, right, Dong Kue. Um, you can take, of course, nettle, red, raspberry leaf, um, cramp bark. You could take um, some of those is a great style. I don't want to give you too many. Um, cinnamon is great too. So if you could like make cinnamon tea and stuff like that, that'd be good. But um, yeah, you can take supplements to help uh, with your hormonal imbalance during that time and just help with your mood. Like St. John's Word, if you are one of those people who maybe get sad or um, go through uh, spurts of depression during your menstrual cycle, St. John's Word is really, really great. I have battled with depression in the past, and St. John's Word has like between St. John's Word and Ash, um, Ashwagandha, both of those are really good herbs. Um, and then also pair with supplements, you can drink tea. So you can, of course, use those supplements to make tea. Um, but you can also drink like chamomile tea, lavender tea, some relaxing tea just to help your body relax. That will be really good. Um, I love drinking tea during my menstrual cycle. It's something about, you know, feeling warm and fuzzy inside. And also getting active, like move. Like I'm not saying you need to go and work out and be like a bodybuilder in a gym. That's not what I'm saying. But you can go get on a treadmill, go ride a bike, do some jump rope, and do some yoga, do some stretching. Just get the blood flowing because when you get active, you have those feel-good chemicals, dopamine, endorphins, serotonin, and things like that. That's released in your brain, and it helps um, with pain relief, and it helps with um, just our body fighting off different things like fighting off pain and things like that. So getting moving definitely helps. And um, <laughs> the last thing is the big O, okay? I don't want to say it, but the big O, okay? The big O. Having the big O release oxytocin. And when we have oxytocin in our brain, it immediately decreases pain. Like you'll realize if you crap it, you have a big O, your serotonin, I mean, not serotonin, oxytocin is released, and that cramping has either went away or it has decreased um, tremendously. So if you use these different things, shake them up in a box and use them, I'm telling you, say if you did all of these for a month, like the next cycle, I promise you, is going to be different. Like I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you what not only I know, but what I have done and what I do. So I'm not here trying to sell you on nothing. Like, yeah, you could go buy the Yoni Steam from Soulful, SoulfulVibesCo.com. But all these other things, like this is stuff that you can just do to help yourself um, in your process. Because I just don't believe we are meant to be in pain and be struggling during our menstrual cycle. So use these tips. Use these different supplements. And y'all let me know how y'all, you know how it's working for y'all. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, or if you use any of these or any other ideas. Like, yeah, you can use a heating pad and stuff. So put that in the comments. Like, if you use something that help, that's going to help the next person, put it in the comments. Um, and let me know if y'all have any questions. Until we meet again, don't forget, I love you. Bye.